overnight development in the asylum seeker crisis, a new injunction has been filed. And it comes as a process takes place against budget cuts to pay for the sheltering of migrants. CBS News Christy Kalishi live at City Hall Park in Lower Manhattan with more on both developments. Christy? Chris Mary, well, let's start with that injunction that was filed just after midnight this morning. It was filed by two Queens Council women and 37 other uh, local leaders, as well as residents against um, a new asylum seeker shelter proposed to be built at Floyd Bennett Field. And I'm just going to give you uh, part of a quote that they said in their joint statement. We will not sit, quote, we will not sit idly by and allow you to destroy our city. We will fight, said by Councilwoman er Joanne Ariola and Assemblywoman Jamie Williams says, in a statement, quote, the placement of a migrant base camp at Floyd Bennett Field is illegal and skirts around all the protocols meant to keep this place a national park. And they go on to say this field is meant for recreation and not for housing. And Governor Hochul made the announcement of that plan in late August. And later on this morning, Comptroller Brad Lander will be at City Hall Park here leading a protest against Mayor Adams's proposed $10 billion in city budget cuts to help curb the effects of the asylum, psycho, uh, asylum seeker crisis in the city as it struggles to house more than 110 about 110,000 asylum seekers and he members of the progressive caucus and brooklyn borough president antonio reynoso believe 10 billion dollars is more than the city needs to cut and just yesterday lander announced an audit of the city's contract with docco and medical service company that the city used to help shelter and provide services to asylum seekers here in the city so that new yorkers can have confidence that every single invoice is being scrutinized, that we are really paying careful attention to what we're being billed for and what we're paying for. But the die is not yet cast. We can still avoid these cuts if Washington and Albany do their part by paying their fair share. And that is one of the mayor's several pleas to the state and the feds asking for more money to help with this crisis. And that protest is set to start here at City Hall Park at 930 this morning. And we're live at City Hall Park. Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. Christy, thank you.